Hey, I'm coming to you from the Yamaha suite at Rock Lidditz. I'm here with Kevin Kimmel in front of a Ravage PM5 console. Uh, Kevin has been with Yamaha for 13 years now, yes, sir. And, uh, but you've got a long history of, of audio before Yamaha. Uh, tell me a little bit about how you got here. Well, let's see. I'd done I'd done some tours, monitor guy in front of house guy. Did some some uh, TV, a lot of TV work. Some as production mixer, some as PA or monitor guy. Award shows, different all kinds of things. Worked at Disneyland out in California um, for decades. Um, so long long history of you know did post you know, for a while on film in Hollywood. So how, how, what was your first interest? Were you a musician at one point? Or what got you interested in the whole thing? You know what got me interested? I, I've got an older brother who's a, a musician. He's seven years old or so. Until I was in high school, I was just kind of too young to be friends, you know. And my senior year in high school, I went uh, and hung out with him in the band at, down in Miami for a week. And they had to go to a studio to pick up some, some cassette copies. They're going to sell tapes off the stage. And I'd always heard about the studio, but never seen the inside of one or anything. And uh, went in and saw the probably an MCI console and the two-inch tape machines. And but the engineer was freaking out about a fairly new device, the Eventide 910 harmonizer, and did a little demo showing you know, sing into it, get harmonies out, etc. And I remember walking out and turned to my brother and said, "That's what I want to do." And then I madly pursued it. Oh, that's awesome! And isn't it cool that? Um this many years later that Eventide has been such a big collaborator of Yamaha in this console. Yeah, I had a conversation with, with those guys about that too. It was, it was fun, yeah, down memory lane with those guys about, about that. Yeah, it's pretty neat. So, and your brother's still a musician, right? Mm-hmm, yep. And did you ever end up playing guitar as well? Or I don't, no, I don't play an instrument at all. No, just um, always got in as a mix engineer. And uh, it, you had more of a studio background to begin with. Initially, it was just a little bit of training. I had a 30-hour class, and then I, I pretty much BS'd my way into a gig as a monitor guy with a band that had a number one hit on the radio at the time. I had a different system every night, and uh, learned on the fly. It went from, from a state fair to are arenas and stadiums in a matter of weeks. Oh, that's awesome. So, and then you feel more comfortable at monitors or front of house, or you go back and forth? or Back and forth, yeah. yeah it's, doesn't matter. So, but it, monitors, I mean, it's a whole different thing, don't you think? I mean, there's such a psychological element to mixing monitors. For sure. I mean, I, I think most guys, when you're mixing front of house, depending on the kind of show and, and production and whatnot, you're, you're doing it for yourself. I mean, you obviously want to best represent the band or the show, whatever it may be. At monitors, you're trying to please every individual up there. It doesn't matter what you think, really, right? So, um, a yeah, completely different mindset and approach to it, for sure. Oh, that's great. Oh, <laughs> my